Hey everybody, I'm Alan. I shaved. Get over it. Oh, I'm Greg. I got a haircut. Looks nice. Thank you. And this is the Alan Hour, and we did an episode about challenges not too long ago, and you you actually gave us some actual challenges. Uh, there was one we really liked, so we're going to give it a shot today. Uh, from Stein Andresen, which is the pronunciation we've settled on for that name. We debated. Yeah. Uh, I got one. Make a whole Rainbow Dash present in under two hours. Well, we have heard that challenge, and we have accepted it. Alright, so we got, uh, we don't actually have Petter up, uh, but we got a notepad here, and some crayons. So, let's get cracking. So, once upon a time there was a very fast blue horse, which may or may not have belonged to a particular corporate entity, which we will not be naming, because if we do, then we will have to put up some kind of waiver. It is a very fast horse, not to be confused with any other fast horse, like Black Beauty. That's good enough. Okay. Really? And one time, <laughs> yes. And one time, this this horse was driving in her car. Yes, it was her in her bubble car. <laughs> Which was a great deal more gas efficient than the standard car. Absolutely. And while she was driving, she saw a dark shadowy figure outside the car, because it was nighttime. No black. There's a black right now. Uh, dark shadowy figure. Yes, it was tall like a tree, and trunk like like a tree, but it was dark, so she didn't know that it was anything. She couldn't tell the difference. And from the periphery of her vision, she realized nothing but absolute terror. I don't know how to draw absolute terror. That's more a concept. <laughs> well, she's terrified. You don't yeah. have to see. You can just imagine in your head. Uh, so she got out of the car and she ran. She had a very good run. She's very good at running, you see. I remember wings this time. <laughs> oh, this time she had wings. She sprouted wings. Running. Yes, she was running very fast away from the thing. And it didn't chase her, so she got home. Just... There's the, the thing she's running away from. She's, she's at home now. Oh, now she's home? Okay. She got home, and then nothing happened, until one day Discovery Channel was doing a special on Bigfoot, and so they interviewed this very fast blue voice. We are not affiliated with History Channel. Was Bigfoot real? History Channel asked. Is it Bigfoot a Yeti? Or is it an alien? They don't know. Who can say? History is funny that way sometimes. There you are. There's, there's the TV special about Bigfoot and uh, an unnamed winged horse being interviewed for it. Yes, and the very fast winged horse said, I'm pretty sure I saw Bigfoot one time. It was a shadowy figure, and I ran from it. So then they gave the horse a lot of money for being on the show, but not too much money, because her testimony was kind of ridiculous. And they concluded that Bigfoot might be real. We don't know. How do I draw uh, just a little bit of money? <laughs> so, uh, here, here, here's unnamed horse, uh, getting money because of the mystery of Bigfoot. 
who may or may not be Mickey Mouse because his feet are so big. Well, I give him big feet because he's Bigfoot. Don't. I mean. Mickey Mouse could be Bigfoot. No reason, there's no reason to be a jerk about it. We're trying to be fast. I'm just saying we don't know. Okay, we don't know is what... Okay, fine. What's next? Well, that's it. That can't be it. Just, well, we had a rising. There was the Bigfoot. And right, that was the rising action. Let's and then recap. And that was... Yeah. Okay. So, unnamed horse uh, with no wings drives in her bubble car and sees a shadowy thing. Right. Uh, she runs very, very fast away from the shadowy thing. Goes home. Gets interviewed for a TV show about Bigfoot. And then, she, which gets her money, and they conclude that they don't know whether or not Bigfoot is real. There's no arc there. Well, that's how they did it on the History Channel. Well, we're not the History Channel. We could be. We couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. There needs to be, like, and then they find book Bigfoot. There needs to be something... That's such a nothing ending. Well, but there is no Bigfoot, though, so they can't really find Bigfoot. We're writing a story! Yeah, but I like the story to be internally consistent. <sighs> you know what? Yeah. I'm doing the story now. And then they find Bigfoot. And he gives them lots of gummy bears. I just don't see the comedy in this. Is it because of the gummy bears? Yes, gummy bears are always relevant and funny. Always. Comedy. Like I'm speaking another language. There. Bigfoot gives unnamed winged horse gummy bears. <laughs> okay, yeah. So that's probably... Yeah. Yeah, good.